welcome back friends uh, this is a professor gulkarni uh, today we will see the next uh, bit of the chapter uh, general structure of hardware uh, which is used in cad cam that is uh, it consists of five main components that is graphics terminal then operator input devices then one or more plotters and other output devices then central processing unit and secondary storage devices so these are the five components of any hardware which is generally used in cad cam uh, you can see this block diagram uh, it consists of secondary storage cpu output plotters etc there may be a printer also then graphics terminal and input devices graphics terminal means you can call it as a lcd screen monitor led screen monitor nowadays these are the gra graphics terminals input devices uh, there may be a mouse keyboard these are the input devices uh, it is called as a design workstation so workstation means what the place at which you do the work that is a simply concept of workstation so it may be machine uh, it may be a computer wherever you work that is called as a work station so this is the general structure of uh, hardware used in cad cam now in this general structure there are different types of uh, output devices there are different types of input devices also graphics terminals are also different types uh, in previous days crt monitors uh, were used uh, as a graphics terminals nowadays led lcd monitors are used as a graphics terminals also hard disk uh, nowadays are used for storing the data pen drives are also used uh, to the email different uh, material is uh, soft copy material is stored so lot of advances are there uh, in cad cam but this is a basic structure of different hardware used in uh, stand alone cad cam system now there is a requirement of graphics workstation and it accomplish five functions the first uh, function is that it must interface with central processing unit that is cpu this is the first uh, requirement second requirement is that it must generate a steady graphic image for the user so that graphics image it should not uh, get wobbled because of any reason so that user can easily identify that graphic image this is second requirement third is it must provide digital descriptions of the graphic image third requirement fourth requirement it must translate computer commands into operating functions this is fourth requirement then it must facilitate communication between the user and stand alone system these are the five requirements of the graphics workstation now in graphics workstation system there are the uh, input devices and these input devices are categorized in text input device graphics input device and direct input devices again graphics input devices are categorized in locating devices and image inputting devices these are those hardware components which are required for data entry in a computer in one format or the other keyboard example keyboard is example mouse digitizer joystick mic light pen light pen touch pad or you can call it as a stylus pen nowadays we use stylus pen in a mobile or screen 
etc these are the few of the input devices first type of input device are those which are used for text input like keyboard and second type of input devices are used as graphics input so graphics input devices are further categorized as locating devices that is like light pen digitizing table or stylus joystick or mouse etc and image input devices third type of input devices are direct input devices so performance of input device is measured in terms of resolution accuracy repeatability and linearity following are the major types of input devices we use in cad cam first is the keyboard second is the mouse then trackball then fourth is the joystick fifth is the touch screen sixth is the thumb wheel seventh one is the light pen and digitizer these are the eight major devices that we use apart from this there are lot of input devices which are used uh, in cad cam hardware system but uh, we focus on these eight these are mainly used so keyboard is obviously uh, it consists of alphanumeric keys letters numbers symbols different uh, punctuation keys it has uh, different arrow keys have special keys are also there functional keys are there so keyboard can have different number of keys which difference differentiate keyboards like 80 keys keyboards 101 keys keyboards 105 keys keyboards etc so 84 101 105 uh, these are the different keys available on keyboards and you can differentiate all these keyboards according to the number of keys available on the keyboard it depends upon how many special purpose keys are introduced in the keyboard second input devices is the uh, device is a mouse a mouse can work on two basic principle mechanical and optical mouse in mechanical mouse the relative position is measured by movement of two orthogonal wheels using encoding into digital values with the potentiometers these wheels are made to rotate with the rotation of sphere by moving the mouse on surface the optical mouse helps to measure the relative position using light beam modulation and optical encoding techniques a mouse is also designed by number of push buttons also example two buttons three buttons mouse or scroll mouse for executing various viewing commands that is zoom rotate pan these are the three commands the combination of these push buttons and mouse movement is normally used in most of cad packages so while operating different cad softwares like katia pro e you need combinations of right and left buttons also scroll button to go for different viewing commands <clears throat> optical scroll mouse with the two push buttons is being used for cad cam application nowadays wireless mouse can offer freedom around the workstation any by sitting anywhere uh, you can operate the software by using wireless mouse there are a number of variants of mouse which are being used with small variation of basic principle and location of locating selecting mechanism this is a simple diagram next is the next is the trackball this is mouse variation as if a mouse is lying on its back because the device is stationary it does not require any much space on your desktop it also does not require 
a plan surface as required mouse the ball moves as it rotates with your thumb your finger or palm of your hand so it saves wrist fatigue and it reduces hand and arm movement so there are usually one to three buttons next to the ball which are just like mouse buttons so trace balls are especially popular with those experiencing problem with arthritic hands the next is the joystick it uh, it is used mostly in the different video games it is also variant type of mouse with increased application factor and faster response extreme position of ground plans define in position in xy plane the top rotating knob of the joystick can be used for defining third hack axis so this is the joystick figure you might have seen this joystick in different video games also touch screen is also one good input devices this kind of input devices allows you to uh, use your finger to touch the screen and choose the objects nowadays mobile steps uh, are the good example of touch screen then thumb wheel is also a good example this is another mouse variant here instead of one track ball there are two uh, thumb wheels each can be rotated to move in one direction at a time so this can be rotated to move in one direction at the time then light pane it is an input devices device that utilizes a light sensitive detector to select object entities on a display screen a light pane is similar to a mouse except that with a light pane you can move the pointer and select the objects on the display screen by directly pointing to the objects with the pane a light pane uses the hardware capability of the graphics display in any of a refresh cycle you can see uh, the figure of light pane the next is the digitizer digitizing table is a locating and pointing device where a board is used along with graphic display the digitizing table is used with puck it is the pointing device that lets you enter drawings and sketches into your computer the principle of entering an input may be electromagnetic magnetic restrictive or acoustic etc the different functions of separate areas can be performed with digitizing table like graphic menu data operation and graphics area so digitizing table can vary sizes ranging from 11 x11 to 36 x36 so direct input devices that you can call it as omr uh, sheets or omr readers optical mark readers which are used for uh, pointing out different dots on the omr sheets these are the data logging device with accuracy and for unlimited time without getting bored or miss missing a reading these are certain situations where uh, you can where you can use the omr optima optical mark uh, readers where a lot of readings you need to go for around 1000 to 1000 sheets uh, you want to check for different marks different signs so there you need optical mark readers so these are the direct input devices so thank you friends for uh, listening this lecture uh, in the next lecture we will see the output devices which are uh, used in cad cam